Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Sam. I am a professional hairstylist. Here on my channel, I do day in the life vlogs, kind of like this one, where I bring you along to work, share what I'm doing at the salon. I specialize in hair color, so I do a lot of color transformations. Today, I am bringing you along to the salon because I am doing something so exciting. I have a client who is a viewer coming all the way from Florida for a color correction. I need to grab my stuff though and go and we will chat a little bit more in the car and I'll tell you the backstory and exactly what we're doing today. So outfit check, I wanted to wear my hair. It's a little greasy, this is like day four hair anyway, but I wanted it to be pulled out of my face. Anytime I'm doing a color correction, I know it's gonna be a long day. It's going to get messy, it's going to be tiring, and today is super hot. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees. So, I wanted to make sure that I was nice and comfortable, so pulled my hair back, added some little waves to it with my bedhead waver, and then I'm just wearing a t-shirt dress with some bike shorts, keeping it nice and cool and comfy. Definitely need to grab some extra SD cards, batteries, LaCroix, ice water. Didn't even get out of the driveway yet and I am already sweating and my car mount didn't stick to the windshield properly and my camera just came crashing down. Getting off to a great start. So my client today, her hair's naturally pretty light. It's like a dark blonde, but she has been coloring it at home, a dark brown color for the last several years. And she recently decided that she wanted something more low maintenance because of course, when you have light hair and you are coloring it dark, you need to touch up your roots every few weeks as your light hair starts growing in. So she decided that she wants something a little bit more low maintenance and she wants to just embrace her lighter hair and be blonde. So she went to a stylist down where she lives to get it lightened and she kind of had a freak out moment and she wasn't sure if she liked it or not and so in a moment of panic, she went to Sally's, got some dark brown hair color and she is looking to try to remove that dark color and like I said, get to her ultimate goal of being a low maintenance blended blonde. She totally understands that this is a color correction. It's gonna be a long appointment and there's no guarantees that we can get her to her goal today. But with color corrections, that's the thing, you never really know how the hair is gonna respond and what's gonna happen. So you have to just kind of take it one step at a time. So I really have no idea what the final outcome is gonna be. I have no idea how long it's gonna take how many steps it's gonna require. So I will see you when we get to the salon. So this was my client's hair before and because her hair has kind of been through a lot the last month or so, I really wanted to be as gentle throughout this process as possible. So about a month before coming into her appointment, I told her to start washing her hair with clarifying shampoo and hot water to try to just fade that color as much as possible before she came in. So you can see it looks a little faded in some spots, but it's still very dark. So the first thing that I did was a Malibu CPR treatment. You just mix it with water and it's a color remover, but it doesn't lift your natural color at all. It doesn't have bleach or any kind of like lifting agent. It just pulls out artificial color that you have in your hair. It can remove about one to three levels of color. So I clarified her hair first with just some clarifying shampoo, and then I applied this treatment all over. I wanted to do this before going in with any bleach, so I saturated her hair fully, then put her hair in a processing cap, and I let her process under heat for 30 minutes. I figured at the very least, this would at least help prep her hair for the bleach that we're gonna do next, but you can kind of see what's left in that processing cap. It actually did pull a good amount of color out, so that was very exciting. So I made sure to wash her hair really well with clarifying shampoo again, make sure that treatment was fully out of her hair. So 
So the next thing that I decided to do was a bleach wash. So I just mixed a couple scoops of lightener with 20 volume developer, some shampoo, and Olaplex, of course. I wanted to use Olaplex throughout this entire process so that we could be as gentle as possible and create minimal damage. So I mix that all up. Um, this is going to help lift the hair some more, but without being as strong and as harsh as just using straight up lightener by itself. I did apply this to her wet hair. It's totally fine to do that. Um, I just wanted to try to pull out that dark color some more first before I decided to go in with foils. I wanted to try to get as light of a base as possible so that it would blend better with her natural light hair. So I just went through section by section and applied this and you can see I kind of feathered up. I tried to not apply it directly to her root area because I didn't want to lift her roots. And even after just a few minutes of that bleach wash or shampoo cap, whatever you want to call it, she already started lightening pretty well. So that was very exciting. I let that sit for another few minutes, just processing in open air, no heat or anything. And after I washed that out, you can see this is what her hair was looking like. So it's a little hard to tell because it's wet here, of course, but... It was a little bit uneven, so I wanted to just even everything out. So I used Redken Shades EQ 6N, and I just applied that all over, let it process for the full 20 minutes, just so this way we could get a nice, even, medium brown base to start with. And this color that I'm applying is just a gloss. It's a demi-permanent color, so it's not super opaque, and it's very easy to lift through. I definitely did not want to use permanent color or anything too strong for this step, because then that would have just made it more difficult to lighten her. You know, it would have defeated the whole purpose, and it also would have just been more damaging. So this is what her hair looked like after that 6N toner fully processed. This right here is pretty close to what her hair looked like after she got it done back in Florida before then going home and putting dark color back over it. So from here, I did a full head of baby lights and I started with 10 volume with Olaplex, of course, because again, we're trying to be as gentle as possible, minimize the damage. So you can see I'm just doing a bunch of little weaves trying to take really fine thin sections and I am applying the lightener all the way up to her roots. And by the way, the reason that I'm starting in the front is because her dark color was much more concentrated in the front and after I had did that bleach wash, the back was a little bit lighter than the front. So I wanted to make sure that the front had more time to sit. And anytime I'm doing an application like this that I know is going to take a long time, I like to start with a really low developer and then each time I need to remix, I just gradually increase my developer. So like I said, I started with 10 volume, I gradually worked my way up to 15 and then I ended with 20 volume in the last section. So at this point in the process, I was just in the zone foiling and I just wasn't even thinking about my camera and what parts I was recording and what I wasn't. So I forgot to get a clip of me tipping out her ends, but you can see I'm just going through and I'm doing these back-to-back -back weaves, but in between each weave, I'm leaving a little bit of hair out. So after I was done with one section, I went through and I added lightener to the ends of those pieces that I left out, because if I would have just left them be, then she would have had more dimension throughout her entire head. We wanted her ends to be more of a solid blonde and just have more of the dimension towards the mid strand and root area. So after I was done with the section, I would go through and I would take maybe three foils worth of dropout hair. I would tease it and then apply the lightener feathering it up 
in a foil. So I'm sorry I didn't get a clip of me doing that, but that is what I did as well. Every time I would finish foiling a section, I would stop and go back and check the previous sections to make sure that nothing was over processing. If some foils did seem like they were done, I pulled them out. This is so important to do because even though, yes, I only started with 10 volume, that's very low, very gentle, and I was using Olaplex, but remember, her hair has been through so much, and whenever you have a color correction situation like this, you always want to take those extra precautions. To completely tell you the truth, I have no idea how long it took for her hair to process and get this light because I just kept stopping, like I said, to pull a few foils out at a time once they were done. But once everything was done processing, I pulled the foils out, shampooed her hair, and you can see her hair got so light from where we started. She lifted to about a level eight, even a level nine in some places. I was really happy with her raw lift. So the last step of this process was toning. So for her root shadow, I did equal parts 6NA and 6T from Redken Shades EQ. I absolutely love this combination. It gives the perfect ashy, like dirty blonde root color. For her all over toner, I did a little bit of 9GB with 8GI and 9GI from Redken Shades EQ. I figured she had some warmth on her ends and rather than trying to make her hair a super ashy blonde, I decided to just embrace the warmth and go for a little bit more of like a sandy beige blonde. So I let that process for the full 20 minutes. We did a little bit of a haircut and are you ready for the big reveal? Here is how her hair came out after. I still can't even believe how light it got. The aftermath. The rest of my makeup held up pretty well though. It is now. 8.06, she came in at 12. That was the longest hair appointment, I think, that I have ever done in one sitting. So my back is feeling it, my legs are feeling it. I am definitely ready to go home. Um, and of course, the sun is like pretty much completely gone now at this point. You can see there's just like the tiniest bit of light left so I was able to just snap a few pictures but I think that I got her root color spot on I think it's gonna match perfectly with her natural color as it grows out her hair did have a little bit of damage which is to be expected I mean she had a little damage already coming in to begin with we knew going into it that that was gonna happen but it wasn't anything significant her hair still feels really good we did a little bit of a cut um, took maybe about two inches off and luckily she uses really good products at home and she only washes her hair maybe once a week so I told her to just baby it for the next week or so do Olaplex number three on it the next few times she washes it and just make sure that she's going and getting regular trims every like eight weeks or so but I am really happy with how it turned out I mean whenever you're doing a color correction you have to understand that the final hair is not going to be as perfect and as beautiful necessarily as somebody with virgin hair you know there's going to be a little bit of unevenness there's going to be a little bit of damage that is just normal and to be expected but it's all a process 
and it's a journey getting the hair to that ultimate goal getting it to the point where it's nice and healthy and all of that so it's really important to talk about these things with your client during the consultation so that they understand the realistic expectations and especially with something like that if you have someone that's been coloring their hair really dark for years and years maybe like type up a contract or something for them to sign agreeing to the fact that their results aren't guaranteed there might be some damage what the price is going to potentially be that's another thing that's really important um for color corrections we charge hourly it's just like the easiest thing for us so it's been a long day but it was all worth it she was very happy i'm very happy so that is going to be a wrap for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more hair color transformations, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Go follow me over on Instagram. And I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.